So wood product trade in the lower Mekong region has undergone a significant shift over the last decade. Now, if we look at the trade in tropical logs or tropical industrial roundwood in 2019, we see that it's almost exclusively within the lower Mekong region and with border countries, China and India. This has not always been the case. Log exports have plunged over the last few years. Myanmar was the major log exporter from the region in 2013, the peak year when exports surged in anticipation of a log export ban. The trend in import of rosewood logs from the lower Mekong region is particularly important. These data describe the volume of rosewood logs produced in the region and then exported to China. So a large part of the decline reflects the depletion of these stocks. The export destinations for the more highly processed wood products are mainly extra regional, in particular the United States, EU member countries, and Japan, where consumption levels are significant, but also where environmental product standards are higher. And this pattern is quite evident in the wood furniture trade. When we look specifically at the data on plantation areas, we can notice an increase in the area of plantations in the Lo Mekong region. Cambodia and Thailand both consider rubber an agriculture crop. If you look at the reported emissions, we still had twice as much emissions as removals. However, we do see improvements in the results reported by Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam 